This weekend saw AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling come together for their Forbidden Door pay-per-view. And in this season, our stipulation is Japan versus Europe. That's right. It's our very own Forbidden Door. Let's go, baby. <laughs> And welcome to Gimme a Whole Yeah! I hope everyone checking this out in Yorkshire and beyond is having a great day. Oh, oh, oh! Hello and a very warm welcome to the Gimme a Whole Yeah Wrestling Podcast. My name is Anne. I hope you're having a great day, a great week, a great month, a great everything. And if you are... Spread a bit of that positivity around, man, because it helps other people out. How are you all doing? Forbidden Door was good, wasn't it? What a bloody good pay-per-view. What a cracking main event. I actually thought the women's match in that was really good. Really enjoyed the mercedes Monet match. Crowd, absolutely dead during it. But I thought it was fantastic. Stephanie Vecure, really enjoyed her. It's the first time I've seen her wrestle, actually, and it was excellent. And that's part of what I love about AEW and part of what I love about uh, the wrestling and that pay-per-view. It, like... It just you don't need stories at that point. It just goes, let's just show some wrestling, and they did that, and it delivered. Let's deliver on this episode. Let's go into the comments first because I do love reading all your comments. Aero one zero two eight said, and I love this comment. I remember growing up, I had a VHS tape of old women's wrestling matches. One I still remember clearly was a two out of three falls match between the Jumping Bomb Angels and the Glamour girl, Girls, Lalani Kai. And Judy Martin. Uh, Judy Martin. Her name was on the tip of my tongue last episode. Yeah, exactly, man. It was, Them matches were great. Them matches were great. The Jumping Bomb Angels were fantastic. And Lilani Kai. Lilani Kai and Judy Martin don't get enough credit in WWE these days. And Manami Toyota as well, who's who we could potentially see in this season, don't get enough credit in WWE, in my opinion. But thank you for that comment. It's great to hear that uh, these are uh, helping you reminisce about the past. That's cool, man. That's really cool. Uh, David, thank you so much for your comment, brother. 75% off all promos. What is the matter with you? That's huge. Especially after dropping over 200k of Niven. <laughs> I know. You don't get to plug complain about money for the rest of the season. David? <laughs> he had a load of smiley faces in there as well, but I can't put them on the thing. I don't know why. <laughs> um... I'm probably going to complain about money. You know what I do? That's what I do, right? That's all That's all I do here. I sing songs, complain about money, and play with women's wrestling figures. Let's go! Here we go. It is uh, our show number six. We haven't got a lot to do, but one of the things we do have to do, right? Promise Tegan knocks two weeks of rest. Great. We can do that. Have at least one steel cage match this week. Two bit arena, bit naff. Okay. However, I really don't like the fact that I put in Isla Dawn and Tegan Knox. This is not this is not right. This is not right. This is not the stipulation that we had. Right? These are supposed to be a on the same side. They are both from Europe. One is Welsh, one is Scottish. They shouldn't be fighting. Mistakes have been made. And no one pointed that in the, out in the comments. Did you notice in the last episode that I done that? Do let me know. Um I have noticed and I can't see it. So I'm gonna upset I'm going to accept Stegan Knox, but I I can't, I just, nope, nope, can't deal with it. Steel cage, done. Um, really rubbish, because that's going to really upset Tegan Knox, and she doesn't have enough happiness to keep her, but uh, we can't, I, I just won't do it. I just won't do it. I just don't like it. Let's have a tag match as the main event. These all have cracking stamina. Look at that. So let's uh, let's give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little something, something. Uh, Ring XP gain is one I want to focus on. So let's go Hell, Hell in a Cell. Sure, why not? Hell in a Cell. Uh, let's uh, put the titles on the line as well. Whoa, sure, sure. That's going to be a hell of a match, right? There we go. And let's see what else we need to build. So we've uh, got one obvious feud. Uh, Jimmy Hitter and Tommy Hayashita have come out from uh, fighting each other. Let's uh, let's do a little search and see if we can find someone for Tommy to face. Uh, let's go up to there and do a search. Anyone on there? Nope, no one No one from Europe there. And no one from Europe there. Thank you so much, game. Really helped me out there. Really helped me out there. Don't know where Ivy Nile's from. I assume America? America. Hell yeah. 
not good, not good. Okay, let's do a one of these searches. Yeah, that's all we can afford because we've only got one search point left. And it's give us Dakota Kai, who's from New Zealand, I believe. Abaddon, no, negative. Uh, she's from the Undead Wasteland. Um, we got no European wrestlers on there. Great, wonderful. Tami Hiashta, you have nothing. Jamie Hayter, let's get you out there. Let's get Jamie Hayter out there with Yuka Sakazaki. However, Jamie Hayter also wants to partner with Kelly Kelly in a tag match this week. So, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it, because we're already upsetting one person. We don't want to have two people to deal with. Where are you, Killer Kelly? There we go. And she's in a feud against Asuka, so let's throw Asuka in the tag match as well. That makes sense, right? So, my idea at the minute... <laughs> I think this is right. I'm going to have a lot of role changes. I also... I'm aware that we are one Hall of Fame trophy away, but Paul Heyman is very close to getting it as well. So we need to actively be partaking in that. If we look at the... How do I do it? GM assistant, commissioner goals, no. Shake up power cards, career standings. Yeah, so there we can see how close we both are. Let's have a look at the... Season challenges, that's what I want to do. So we've got one already. Uh, looking at this, there's a couple of things we could do. We could do the roll change. We could hit that heavy, which I think we are going to do. Um, three superstars, very happy. That's not happening with uh, Tegan Knox this week, is it? But hopefully someone will be happy. Use three power cards during one week, three times. That's that's quite a lot. Uh, five promises for purchase all power cards before a show five times. That's not going to happen. Make three superstars very happy. Hopefully that'll happen. Fulfill five promises. Hopefully that'll happen. Happen and gain 225 popularity between all of your roster should happen naturally. Uh, book 10 shows with all promo slots filled. Well, that's probably going to happen by itself as well. So there we go. Cool. So that is all. I just wanted to show you exactly what was going on with all that. Uh, let's put one of our less exciting matches on. Let's put Danny Luna versus EO Sky. See if we can get that bill up a little bit. In fact, let's make it a triple threat. Let's add in Atami, because Atami's not going to be doing out for a while, so why not get her in there? And it just mixes up that card a little bit more. Although it will be a good card, I have no doubt. I don't need anyone for Atami. I've got Isle of Dawn or Tegan Knox. Tegan Knox is perfect for Atami. What am I even talking about? Right, so I haven't accidentally stumbled on a Japanese wrestler, have I, to fight Isle of Dawn? Japanese, Japanese. Where is Abaddon from? Where is Abaddon from? Denver, Colorado, not Japanese. Cool. Uh, oh, not Japan. Let's go. No, none of them. Cool. Gutted. 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 Absolutely useless searches. Thank you, game. Uh, roll changes. Right, so I'm thinking we have the... And I, and I kind of worked this out. I think the Europe are heels. It, either way, we've got, like, a split mix. Like, even you, you can see on this page here, they're just all over the place, man. And I think we need to start really focusing on what we want. So I'm going to make all the Europeans heels because uh, that's what we do best. Uh, so let's 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 spam it. Let's let's get some European heels going on. Um, this is cost 10,000. So would this be free as well if I'd done that card? Oh, well, whoops. <laughs> uh, Europeans into heels. Let's go. Uh, Debbie Keitel can go out there and turn and heal. And uh, roll change for Julia, who's going to be a face. That makes sense, yeah? Cool. Let's go with that. It's just switching them round, but I don't mind. I think I've got to try and get the entire roster on side with that. Uh, look, I mean, the tag team there, like, that's perfect. That works fine for us in the future. So I think that's what we're going to go with for now. Uh, we're going to confirm that booking and go straight on to the first week. I don't get to complain about money. So I won't complain about money. Here's £110,000 this show's costing. It's fine. NXT 2.0. Isle of Dawn, Tegan Knox. Let's end this feud, this accident. Isle of Dawn gets the win. That's okay. It's a four and a half star match. Great. That's really good. Really good opening match. Soraya. She's turned heel. Uh, Jamie Hayter, Killer Kelly, Yuka Sakazaki and Asuka. Let's uh, see. I mean, we might end up with a tag feud out of this that we didn't want. But there we go. Yuka Sakazaki and Asuka. We do. We do end up with a tag feud out of this. Ke Kelly and Hayter all there. Roll change there from Debbie Keitel. Nice. Uh, Danny Luna and Io Sky. That's the main priority here. However, Atami shows her dominance. Gets a win. Three-star match. Nice. Uh, Julia with an embarrassing promo. But she has turned face. Uh, let's see. Here's our main event. It is the Jumping Bomb and Angels going up 
against Sapphire Reed and Charlie Morgan, the radioactive aces. Let's go. Mmm. They've won the title back. Loved watching that match in the last episode, by the way. Uh, Sapphire Reed and Charlie Morgan have grown the rivalry a four and a half star match. Wow. Hell in a Cell with the titles on the line. Mental. Manami's there. Aja Kong's there. We're going to get them in the future. Uh, there we go. Four and a half stars. Four and a half star main event and opener. Mid card. Two and a half and three. Um, I feel like we did all about a par with SmackDown, I guess. Um, we did have a better opener and main event, but... That's, I mean, I want both of them. <laughs> and uh, there's their card there. And that's another person I want as well there. Emi Sakura. Let's go. Cool. Um, let's carry on. So, yeah, Forbidden Door. Really enjoyed it, man. Really enjoyed it. Uh, Mina Shirakawa, who I wish I'd put on this series now. Jemma Hayter and Killer Kelly worked really well as a tag team. Um, that was a really fun match. Let me know what you thought of AEW's Forbidden Door pay-per-view. Um, Will Ospreay and Swerve Strickland. Outstanding, man. What a match. What a match. That was incredible. 33,000 extra fans, 25,000 fans for Raw, and 20,000 fans for SmackDown. Let's go. You can join me every Wednesday. I cover AEW Dynamite. I will have covered Beach Break last night. Um, so do come and hang out with me at some point. It would be great to see more people in them live streams. Uh, we are still num numero uno, I assume. Hey, I notice you haven't been making uh, regular use of call-out promos. They're useful for you. Uh, really? I'm always spamming call-out promos. We can be used to start new rivalries, boost existing ones without tiring your superstars out. You should always be thinking about current and future rivalries between your superstars to ensure the audience keep coming back. And that's what we are doing when we change classes all the time, okay? Uh, you said you would give me time off, but then put me in a match. Come on, you have to do better than this. Major drop to Tegan Knox. Not good, not good. Jamie Hayter, I told you Kelly and I really hot off as a tag team. Thanks for pairing us up. We look forward to our next tag match. Crowd still loved us, even though we didn't get the win. Kelly and I can definitely shake up the tag division with another chance. And the fans can't wait to see our next tag team match. Good management is always appreciated. Jamie, we appreciate you, mate. We appreciate you. Let's get Jamie Hayter to go up against Yuka Zakazaki. See if we can build up that feud as well in this show. Cool, and uh, let's see what else we've got. We've got Debbie Keitel and Tam Nakano. Uh, definitely could do with building that up. Let's uh, give it a tables, a bit of stipulation there. Give it a bit of a boost, eh? Give it a bit of a boost. Uh, Atami and Tegan Knox, but Tegan Knox's stamina is uh, dreadful. Let's do a call out then from Atami to Tegan Knox. And uh, see if we've got a card for Tegan. No, we don't. Unfortunately, we don't. We don't. And we can't buy one. Cool. Um, we've got loads of money, by the way. Look at me, not complaining about money for a change. Uh, nine assets, so we can afford one of these. Uh, maybe we, maybe we do. Maybe we, maybe we do a search. Isle of Dawn. See if we can find a Japanese wrestler. I'm not sure how many there are. Um, we'll try the fifteen thousand this time. We've got enough money. Cool. Uh, search. Uh, no, Su Young's not Japanese. Oh, Alex wins there. Brit there. Uh, not enough money for that. Uh, let's do the one. Sure. Uh, cool. Alex Windsor is a almost definite pickup. I feel. Uh, Sue Young. Where is Sue Young from? Let me let me consult my sheet. It's hard because I don't really know where the uh, sort of major gimmicks are from. Uh, Sue Young is from Seattle, so absolutely not. Uh, Brie Bella's not. Rhonda's not. Charlotte's not. Alexa's not. Carmella's U.S. Abaddon we've established is U.S. And these are all jobbers. Uh, so the only person we can buy from here is Alex Windsor. Uh, look at how our stipulations are forcing us to make different decisions than we normally potentially would. But I love Alex Windsor, man. Can we have a? Uh, can we have Alex Windsor? Alex Windsor, uh, one of the best matches I've seen, man. Alex Windsor and Charlie Morgan. I've got both on the card, and I can't use them against each other. What a shame! What a shame! Um, right. So now I need to figure out if I want Atami to call out Tegan Knotts, or what I'm kind of feeling is uh, is. Why not call out, because she's got such bad health, why not use this time now for Atami to call out, um, where is she, Windsor, Alex Windsor, let's go, I'm down with that, a heel versus a heel, that's okay for now, that's okay for now, we are going to do the role changes, uh, you want to be a heel, a heel, a face, a face, so let's change her now, cool, and who else, uh, let's, uh, do Danny Luna into a heel then. 
So we cover that in that. Cool. Yeah, happy with that. Cool. Any one star feuds that we want to build up uh, intentionally? No. Uh, Nikki Cross and Mika Satomura. That can definitely go on this show. Incredible stamina, these two. Incredible stamina. Uh, let's give it a let's give it a little bit extra. Eh? Uh, let's give it a TLC, shall we? Yeah, let's go. We've got they've got the stamina for it, so why not? Why not? Uh, they're not very popular stars as well, so that should help increase the popularity at the minute. And uh, what else are we going to have? We are going to have... Do we want Atami to call out? We could do... No, we couldn't. Okay. Main event time, main event time. What do we want to have happen here? Do we do Soraya and Julia for the title? See if we can build that up. Sure, we don't need to put anything crazy in that. Uh, Yuka Sakazaki and Jamie Hater. Let's make it into a submission match because Jamie Hater is good at submission matches. See if we can give that a double boost. Why not? Cost is 93,000. That's why we don't do that. That is why we are not doing that. Uh, cost is still too much. Wow. Is that tables match going? Seems like it is. Uh, TLC ring gain, stamina cost high. I think it's P. Right. Okay, we'll do extreme rules instead, and that means we can still have this as a table match. We can't have that as a submission match, though. Way too expensive. Have at least one last one in standing with uh, XP3, which I kind of want. Uh, one last one in standing match. How much is that? Uh, last one in standing. 25k. Plus morale to winner, minus morale to loser. 25k. So if I do last woman standing on there. That's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. We'll do that. And we've done that. Way, let's go. Happy with all that? Yeah, I don't think that should need a boost. We've got the title on the line. 53,000 right now. Uh, let's uh, use one of these cards against uh, Teddy. Let's, let's hold him back a little bit. Make sure he's not making too much money. We don't want him to, uh, to boost in front of us. There we go. We've got two roll chains happening there in that feud. Um, like I say, I I didn't do the math completely. It, it feels like it's wrong now looking at it, but it's getting there. It'll be fine. And Nikki Cross gets the win there. Two fighters against each other in a two and a half star brawl. No change in the rivalry. That's not good. Atami Hayashita with an excellent promo against Alex Windsor. Jamie Hater and Yuka Sakazaki going out there right now. Jamie Hater gets the win there. It's an okay promo. The role change there for Rio Sky. She turns face. Mid card match between Tam Nakano and Debbie Keitel from Ireland. Tam Nakano gets the win and the rivalry grows. For two fighters, a three and a half star match just for tables. I am I am dead happy. Danny Luna with a weak promo. Let's see how this main event does. It's for the title. Julia takes the title from Soraya. The rivalry grows. It's level four. It's ready for that pay per view, man. It is ready for the pay per view. Uh, last week it was Aja and Manami who were opening Raw. This week they were finishing Raw, but uh, they did not beat our main event. Saray and Julia was the best matches on the show. Our opener was really weak. That match was a lot better actually, uh, but apparently that opener was really weak. I didn't really think about that as much as I should. Where's Billy Starts? She's American. Anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Cool. Uh, oh, only 11,000. That's the lowest it's been for a while, people. 25,000. Ouch. 28,000. Let's see where that puts us in the standing. Way! And 20 million in lifetime revenue. We didn't even need to worry about getting all of the extra uh, bonuses to finish up the shake-up. We managed to do it. There we go. Uh, get to the moon. Oh, to the moon. Nice. Great. Perfect. Uh, let's have a look at... So we're in the Hall of Fame. We had made it to the Hall of Fame. Just take a moment. Ten, first one to get 10 out of 10. That's good. Uh, we are still below on fans from Ted DiBiase, though. We are still lower on fans. He's probably going to send me an email. Here we go. What was that stunt you just pulled? Uh, you got to get dirty if you want to win. If you want to play it that way, fine. Watch your back. I certainly will. Things aren't ready aren't working out for me at NXT 2.0. Especially after you, you didn't care if I crippled myself. The only way you can convince me today is with a 100k bonus. You know what? It was our mistake. Major increase to a morale. Good. Let's do business with Tegan Knox, okay? Hey, Mick, you've seen the work I've been putting in, but I know I can do more for the brand. I'm ready to run a main event match, and I know the fans will be excited for it. 
This would mean a lot for my career. What do you say? I can do that, Jamie. Jamie, for you, I will do that. Perfect. I won't let you down. Nice one, Jamie Hater. You are going in the main event. Jamie Hater versus... Uh, do we do the tag match? I guess we do the tag match, don't we? It was going to be Jamie Hater versus Yuka Sakazaki, but you know what? The, the tag match is going. I am here for it. Askren Killer Kelly is also going. Um, yeah, cool. Cool. They all need to be changed as well. I feel like I've made a real mistake. I feel like I've made a real bad choice. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. We, we'll, we'll, we've, we've started, so we'll finish. Uh, heel, uh, face, heel, 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 face, heel. Oh, it's, it's actually looking really good. Heel, which is right, face. Tegan needs to be heel. Is that everyone done then? Uh, apart from the people in this match. That is pretty much everyone done. I'm just going to check that one more time. Uh, so I'm making, for those of you that are not following along, Japanese wrestlers are going to be faces. Uh, European wrestlers are going to be heel. Uh, Otami needs to change. Otami needs to change. Uh, Otami wants to be a face. Cool. Any more? Uh, heel, heel, face, heel, heel. Heel, face, heel, heel, face. And Piper Niven, when she gets back, she's right, she's heel. So it did work out well. Okay, cool. Almost like I planned it that way. Cool. And uh, however, everyone in that main event needs to swap as well. But there we go. And let's have a look what else we've got here. Uh, we've got Jamie here in a main event match. She's happy about that. She's happy about that. We're going to do a Hell in a Cell. Do a tables. Do a tables. Let's give it a boost. Give it a boost. Give it a boost. Uh, have we got any two stars that we want to increase? Satomura and Nikki Cross didn't increase as much as we'd like to. Let's I'll tell you what. Let's put that in a submissions match. See if we can give it the super boost. A super boost. Tanakano and Debbie Keitel. Quite a matchup. Both quite popular superstars. Atami and Alex Windsor. We're going to have to hold off on that a little bit. But that is absolutely fine. Uh, that tag match as well does need to build up as well. We do have loads of stamina with them. Uh, do we do it this week or do we do it next week? I guess we do it next week, but I'll be really disappointed if it doesn't happen. Uh, Tam Nakano and Debbie Keitel can add... We'll add some more in. We'll get some more in. We'll get Danny Luna and Eo Sky in as well. Uh, I feel like that increases the popularity of the match. Done a really good job with them, actually, uh, to increase the popularity. Danny Luna and Eo Sky, who, who started off this episode a lot lower... And is certainly being built up. So I'm very happy about that right now. Then we've got the tag team that needs to happen. Um, what else do we have for here? What else do we have for here? Atami and Alex Windsor. That can't happen just yet. We could do a search. We could definitely do a search. Uh, let's see if we can get anyone. We are going to have to think about the amount of contracts that we offer. Let's do a 25,000 search. You know, while I've got no money. Uh, a load of the DLC peoples in the Statlander is neither British or American. Uh, I need more. Oh, and I, I, right, so because I used a three-star search, uh, it's not letting me do another one. So let's do a two-star search there. I'm aware that if we do get a Brit... Oh! Or Japanese. I feel like there's a lot of people in their rosters who are... Oh, can we can we get her? Can we afford her? Not really. Seventy nine thousand for five weeks. Let's do two weeks and let's figure it out. Let's let's figure out the money for next week. Let's let's just worry about it next week, eh? Uh, cool. So I feel like we've got a lot of European wrestlers. Yes, we need more Japanese wrestlers. A lot of the other brands have the Japanese wrestlers, so we need to start looking at how we're going to get to a point where we can... She should be a giant, by the way. I don't know why she isn't a giant. She needs to also be heel. Uh, roll change. <laughs> Thanks, Jazzy. Go out then. Change, change, change. And uh, it still doesn't help us with this match. Do we do... Do we do the tag match? I guess we do. I guess we put in all them. I mean, we could split that up for sure, but... I also don't see why. Uh, let's put the titles on the line. Sure, why not? Give it a boost. That That's not going to be as good, but it shouldn't be too bad. And Jamie Hayter wants a main event match, so we're making her happy. 
And I am all about making... Oh, my word. Look at all the contracts expiring. Four contracts coming up in the next two weeks. Oh, my word. What do we have? What do we have? Uh, we've got XP get schooled. Yeah, we do. Uh, who's going to get a big XP boost? It's going to be... Uh, where's Jazzy? Yeah, she's 17 already. She's quite high already. Uh, let's leave Jazzy. Let's give it to... Uh, Sapphire Reed could do with a big boost. Let's go. Level 14 straight away. To the moon! Sapphire Reed! Popular into superstar! I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Because I feel like we're going to do some fun stuff with Safi in the future. Two-bit arena, of course. Why not just throw that at him? Throw that at him. Cool! That is our card for this week. We are 25 minutes into the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Do us a solid. If you are enjoying it, hit that like button and these episodes will continue. As simple as that. Uh, the more people that see these, the more the longer it's going to continue. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll do interesting stuff in the future, I'm sure. I'd love for, the, for this to... But, I mean, if you guys don't want it to, that's absolutely cool as well, you know? I mean, I'd, but I'd love to carry this on until until next year. That would be really cool. Uh, Nereo Tanziani and the Jumping Boy Angels against the Radioactive Aces. Uh, the Radioactive Aces get the win. Sapphire... Reed and Charlie effing Morgan. Tegan Knox changes class. She's a bad guy now. Mika Satamara versus Nikki Cross. Let's see what happens here. It's a fighter versus fighter. Nikki Cross gets the win. It was a submission match. A mediocre. Didn't get any rivalry boost out of that. Ouch. Atami Hashta has turned into a face. Nice. Tam Nakano, Debbie Keitel, Eo Sky, and Danny Luna all going at it now. And there we go. Debbie Keitel getting the win there. And both rivalries grow. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. feel like we've not left ourselves anything for the penultimate show, have we? But that's okay. We'll figure it out. Jazzy Gabbert with a good promo there. And a main event of Jamie Hayter, Killer Kelly, Yuka Sakazaki, and Asuka. Let's hope this match is good. Some great superstars. The winners are the tag team there with Asuka and Yuka Sakazaki. Uh, come up with the names down below for the tag teams. I can't think of anything right now for them. Missed in a bottle, maybe? Missed in a bottle? Don't mind that. Yuka Zakazaki, for whatever reason, always reminds me of the bird from uh, Bewitched. I don't know why. Just like a genie in a bottle. So, uh, missed in a bottle is, is what I'm going for. Uh, Jamie Hater and Killer Kelly. The killer hater. Hater killer. Hater killer. Killer hater. Hate kill repeat. Ah. There we go, let's go. The, uh, it's three star. The rivalry has grown, though, at least. Uh, Mizuki now is in there. They've got all the Japanese talent. They have got all the Japanese. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we doing? Slow down, boy. There we go. Opener, uh, a main event. We've dropped off. The quality of our shows have dropped off. There's all the matches. Uh, but it's going to drop off even more now. 15,000 uh, uh, versus 17,000 and 27,000. Okay, cool. Ouch. Uh, reduce the length of the contract to the moon we've got again. Nice. I don't think we'll be able to use it on Saf again this time. There we go. Let's have a look at this one. I feel this is going to be a really weak show. A really weak show. Uh, select an opposing brand. Three superstars that cannot be booked in matches next week. Okay. Well, at least it's this week. Uh, cannot be used the week before a PLE. So it couldn't be used next week anyway. A contract will expire at the end of next week. Uh, let's talk figures. Uh, 79k she wants. Uh, how do you feel for 10 weeks? Um, we've got loads of people. We've got loads of people. Your open offer sounds fine, 79k. Let's just keep Jazzy Gabba around for now. I know she's not doing anything right now, but she will be, okay? Not going to like this, but either Don Tegan Knox and Nario will all have to miss this week's show. Sorry about that. Not a problem. A good job that we built up that tag feud this week. Boss, I'd like to get as much ring experience as possible. Uh, I, I feel like I could do a no hold bad match. Could you book me one within the next couple of the weeks? Sure, Danny. Yeah, whatever. Uh, love it. Can't wait to show the crowd what I'm made of. Good. Hey, boss, you benched me for a while. I really want to get back in the ring. It's time you woke up and put me back where I want, I want a match in the next show. Uh, sure thing, you've been away way too long. We need Alex Windsor and Atami in this show anyway. So it all works by me. There we go. Um, we've we've got a lot of people benched. We need to make sure that we're using people. And we also have a lot of people who are at five stars on their feud. So a lot of stuff paying off now. Uh, Piper Niven, 
is ready to go all of a sudden. Uh, Jazzy Gabba is also waiting for someone to attack. And so is, where is she? Isla Dawn? Has she been vetoed? Yeah, she has been vetoed. So we need some Japanese superstars. That is what we need in this next part of the season or something. Let's use it to the moon. Who are we going to give it to? Eeny, meeny, miny. Let's go with the jumping bomb angel. Let's make both of them uh, to the top. There we go. Jumping to the moon. Nikki Cross, new perk. Let's see. Bruiser, a specialist. Certainly feels like a bruiser to me, doesn't she? Nikki Cross, let's go. We'll take that. See what we can do with it. Uh, or if we need it. Cool. I'm okay with that. Right, let's have a look at these matches, though. Mika Satomura and Nikki Cross, once again, didn't happen in that last show. I'll put them out there again. Could go with the submission again if I wanted to. Try and really push for that. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um... I mean, what are they on now? Did I say one or two? It's two. So, I mean, I really want them on four, but we'll see. Uh, do we put the tag match out here is a question, or do we save that for the next one? Uh, Killer Kelly and Asuka, actually. That needs to be built up as well. Killer Kelly and Asuka right there. They are in a feud, and we can have it as a tables match, sure. Why? Because I said so. And that's, that might be our main event, to be honest with you. Um, let's have a look. What else do we want to have happen? We don't really have any other matches, do we? So we can either waste our money and do a search, which sounds like a beautiful idea. Um, let's do a couple of searches. Let's not go too crazy. This seems like there's so many people in these lower lower rosters anyway. Um, just hoping we pop into an awesome Japanese superstar is what we want. A uh, Gil Kim, of course, there. I don't feel like there's anyone in one, so let's not even bother with, with it. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no Japanese superstars. No British superstars. I'm aware of. Quinn McKay isn't. No, she's from the US of A. No. Didn't work, peeps. Didn't work. Okay, cool. Main event time. Do we pay off a match? I feel like we're going to have a load of matches to pay off in this one. Let me just check the feuds. We've got Debbie. So one, two, three. That's three across the top. Four with the tag teams. Five with that. Oh, no, we've got five. We've got the right amount, so there's no point in killing off the feud now. Ooh, what am I going to do? Can't do the tag match. I can do a tag match. I could build up this, see if it see if it builds up. Jamie Hater, Yuka versus Killer Kelly. Where are you, Killer Kelly? No, I can't because I'm doing Killer Kelly and Asuka. Ah, damn it. Uh, we did want Jamie Hayter and Yuka Sakazaki to go at it, actually. So we could see if we can get that. Maybe have that as a main event. Yeah, I don't hate this card. Cool, we can do some stuff that's not just... Let's do some charity promos. Let's get some popularity in, in this place, eh? No one's good at promos on my roster at all. Debbie Kaitel can go out and cut a charity promo, of course. Cool. Self promo for Eosky, sure. And uh, who else are we going to have do a promo of some sort? Maybe advertising, get a little bit of money, a little bit of extra money. Is it the cost of popularity, though? No, we don't want to do that. Charity, we'll do another charity, sure. Uh, Sapphire Reed with a charity promo. Who expected that? Not me. Not me. Cool. There's everyone on the card. I'm happy with that. Let's go. Confirm the booking. 66,000 that cost us. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that that was going to be a real mix-up, no-feuds type card. And it's not been too bad. Nikki Cross and Mika Satomura. Uh, a feud that's just not gone anywhere. Yes, they are both fighter-fighter. I'm aware. Nikki Cross. The rivalry's grown to level 4, so that's great. That can pay off at the pay-per-view. And then we can have a look at what we can do with them in the next episode. Debbie Cartel with a good promo there. And Tommy Hashter. Versus Alex Windsor. Here we go. Atami gets the win. Three-star match. No build to the feud, though. Interesting. Three-star match on a mid-card. That's not bad for a normal match. Jamie Hater versus Yuka Sakazaki. This is the first time that these two have met in the solos. Winner was Jamie Hater. And the rivalry was born. Let's go. Sapphire Reed cuts a good promo. Nice. And Killer Kelly and Asuka going at it one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see who gets the win here. 
It is Asuka getting the win going into the pay-per-view. Rivalry grows to level four, and it is a three and a half star match. Great. And let's confirm all that. Great. Um, we need some money because we need to buy loads of superstars off people. We need to steal them, so let's uh, consider that. I want my Nami, man. I want my Nami Tata. I want Aja. I want... Uh, where's Tam? I think Tam's on here. Carrie Sane's there, man. Emi Sakura. It's like they know what stipulation I'm doing, and they've intentionally done what they can to knack me up. Uh, 18,000 extra in the old fan change division. Fantastic stuff. Uh, and the 200,000, that's what we want. 18,000 versus 24,000 versus 14,000. Right, let's see if these contracts are coming in. Complete five challenges this season. Uh, the best offense. This pre this prevents the effect of the first power card played on you next week. Wow. Tap block GM are brand power cards and cannot be used in week 25. Uh, a Vito Champ card as well. I I've never seen that card before. The card that protects us. Probably would have played it now. We go 164,000 is what Ted DiBiase has. So we're about 50,000 plus away, something like that. 55,000. Uh, my contract with NXT 2.0. I'd be interested in having another five weeks. The cost would be 72k. Uh, let's stop figures. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> let's take it. Uh, I don't want to make anyone unhappy. You know, I don't want to be dealing with that. Uh, well, saying that, let's talk figures. Right, so Nario is very happy with us. She's got she's like got a big happy smiley face. Let's offer her 51k and see if she'll stay. Uh, I hate being low ball, but okay. A moderate decrease to her morale, but her morale was great, so we can afford that, I think. My contract with NXT 2.0 is up at the end of the week. I'd love to stay for another work five weeks. I'm asking for 92. Uh, wow, 92. Uh, yep, yeah, cool. We'll meet that. There we go. She's uh, She's got a happy smiley face now. The crowd has been really getting behind me. It's time we took the advantage of that. You should give me the main event at the upcoming show. I deserve top billing. EO Sky wanting to be main event. It's pretty obvious the viewers want to see me in the biggest matches. Mick is going to put me in the main event. Oh. Let's have a look. EO Sky not very happy. Asuka is busy. She's doing a lot. Uh... I feel like we just say no to both of them. We can, I mean, it's the pay-per-view. Like, we can't... Hmm. Kill Kelly. No, I'm not making any promises to either of them. This is really going to hurt us with you. This is really going to hurt us with you. Uh... A small decrease to both of them. Uh, let me know when you plan to actually do some actual management, says EO Sky. EO, we can Brett legs. Look, Cross has been handing me nothing but Rosses recently. Isn't there anyone else on the roster you can match me up against? Uh, no. No, there's not. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm getting real sick of it. Uh, the crowd, so is the crowd, if you've heard them lately. It's been a really up and down season for her at NXT 2.0. Oh, a small decrease to her morale. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, a no holds bad match for Danny Luna, so that needs to happen. Where are you, Danny? Danny Luna and EO Sky, that's is going to be a uh, no holds bad. Loser is injured for one week. Okay. Cost 50,000. Ouch! That's expensive. 50,000. Ring XP very high. Mm. Cool. It's there. It's happening. Oh, God, that's expensive. Uh, I feel like our tag match is probably number one. Sapphire Reed, there we go. That'll be the last time that they fight in this uh, in this season. Let's see who comes into the next season. Uh, Julia and Soraya feels like our main event. Um, it may may get more added to that yet. I don't I don't know just yet, but we will see. Uh, oh mate, I've got all these Brits doing now. Right, we need Miko Satsuma and Nikki Cross to pay off, and we need Killer Kelly and Asuka to pay off. And we have another match to pay off as well. So, Fatal 4 way. Tam Nakano and Debbie Keitel. I feel like that Nikki and Miko Satsuma has just not been doing any good. So, we're going to leave that in the mid card, and we're going to add the other feud into this match here. So, that's uh, Tam Nakano and Debbie Keitel. 
Oh, four star, four star feuds across the board. This is going to be a huge mix up, though, at the start of the next episode. So I look forward to that. I don't know what's going to happen there. There's going to be a lot of stuff happening, I'm sure. Uh, we got uh, one one extreme rules match. I mean, sure, we can do an extreme rules match, right? Um, let's have a thing. Right, we'll put you on the title. And what is the branded PLA? It is extreme rules. So let's give them an extreme rules match. Sure. Um, is there anyone to this feud that I want to add to watch? I feel like we've seen Soraya and Julia. Could do a maybe a special guest referee. We haven't we haven't watched many of them. Could do a casket match. Whoa. Loser leaves a brand. We've not done one of them for a while. Soraya versus Julia. In a casket match. No. No. Backstage brawl. I don't hate the idea. I quite like the idea of a special guest referee. Who would fit into this, though? I suppose it's the next challenger for Julia, isn't it? So... The fighter, so maybe... Maybe this is what Isla does. And obviously she's going to ally to Soraya. Yeah, I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. We're going to watch a special guest referee, guys. How does that make you feel? Let me know in the chat. Table match, sure. We'll give it a little boost. And this match can get a boost as well. It's going to be a eeny, meeny, miny, not extreme rules. TLC. Shop. Shop. There we go. That is all we've got time for there. Atami is going to do a charity promo. Uh, Alex Windsor is going to call out Atami, saying that she's chose the wrong charity there. Uh, Jazzy Gabba, Yuka Zakazaki, and Jamie Hayter. We could do that. We could do a call out from Yuka Zakazaki on Jamie Hayter. And we're going to do a... Are these all the right class? Yes, they are. A charity promo from Piper Niven, I guess. Piper Niven with 100 stamina. That's right, we spent 200,000 on her and haven't used her at all. Wow. I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> and I'm also over it. Uh, let's go. Uh, we don't need the boost for that yet. No, bonus fans, 5,000. Does it boost the show quality as well? Oh, it does, yeah. It gives it a quite good boost as well. Cool, uh, let's go. Don't need that, don't need that. Contract negotiation, it's only two weeks. 28,000, is it worth it? Probably not to buy. Probably not. Have a card. She wants this no hold bar, she's got it. Extreme rules, we've got one, haven't we? Oh no, we don't, because we've got rid of that. Uh... Can we turn that into Extreme Rules? Give it a proper boost? Yeah, I feel we do. I think that'll be fine with the tag titles on the line. That'd help. It's a table match. Yeah, it should be fine, that. One of them's good at tables, isn't it? Yeah, it's Sapphire. Uh, glad I checked that. Cool. We are going into it. We are going to watch a special guest referee match as Isla Dawn comes. Will she help the Europeans succeed one more time? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. I've, oh, I haven't selected anything. There's me thinking I've confirmed the booking and... Oh, wrong button. There we go. Sit back. Relax. Confirm the booking. What? I'm over budget? Ah, oh, what? I just didn't read that. That's my problem. No holds barred needs to stay. Oh, I'm well over budget. Oh, uh, this is messy. This is messy. Um, I need to save 20,000. If I turn these into self-promo, would that do it? No, nearly though. Very nearly. I mean, if we got rid of the table stipulation from that, it'd do it. Do we risk it? For a biscuit? A normal match? Let's go. Let's risk it. Let's see, I hope I hope it's like four and a half stars is what I want, but I don't know if I'll get it now I've taken that stipulation out. Hmm. Here we go, let's see, in the opening tag team title match, I'm glad changing the stipulation didn't take the titles away from that because I would be cursing. Sapphire Reed and Charlie Morgan are 
our champions. It is a four star match. Tommy Hayashita gets uh, some popularity. A mid card no hold bars match between Danny Luna and EO Sky. This has potential to be great. EO Sky getting the win, and that means that she is injured. Four star match. Nice, solid. Alex Windsor and Atami Hashta, their rivalry grows. Miko Satsumura and Nikki Cross going up against each other. Now. This hasn't been a great feud. Nikki Cross gets the win. It's a three-star match. Okay. Hopefully, we'll get some better stuff for these. Yuka Sakazaki and Jamie Hayter is growing. It is growing. And I am growing for it. Asuka, Killer Kelly, Tam Nakano, and Debbie Keitel. Oh, we've got some... Asuka gets a win. Wow. Four-star match. Two rivalries completing right there. Piper Niven cuts a promo. It's a week one. It's our main event of Julia and Soraya with special guest referee. It's one half of the... Oh, what were they called? Someone told me ages ago. That tag team. Isla Dawn and Kaylee Ray. Oh, what's it called? Fire and Desire? Maybe something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Here we are. We are at SummerSlam, sponsored by Slim Jim. No shame. No shame in the branding on the Slim Jim on the side of that SummerSlam platform. And the lights go out. It's not a lights out match. Sponsored by Mountain Dew. It is a special guest referee. And here she is, the referee in question. It is Isla Dawn. Identifying today as a zebra. Coming in. Ready to rock. It is Isla Dawn. Full presentation, even in the referee shirt. She is not messing about. She is here. She is going to make sure that Soraya gets the win here. Mental. Sorry, my headphones are so loud. Oh, she's really creeping into the ring here. Do they still use Isla Dawn in WWE? Hashtag let me know. Don't really watch it. Is she injured or, or what? What's the deal with Isla Dawn? Why is she not being used more? Great kicks, man. I always enjoyed her in NXT UK. That was a, one of the series that I, that I really loved, uh, NXT UK. Used to enjoy that every week. One hour wrestling TV. Perfect, man. Perfect. Went to some of the tapings of that a few times, actually. When once at Download Festival and then once when it was in Hull. It was at Bonus Arena in Hull. How could I not support it when it came to this city? And here we go. She is facing Soraya. Soraya is coming out now. Uh, actually, sorry. Soraya is our first opponent. This was made by the Elbow of Sauron. Hashtag 90138. Thank you so much. Without that, without you, I wouldn't have been able to like have this series. So, thank you to all the work that you put into making these characters. Soraya looks fantastic. I am happy with how Soraya looks. Thank you. And she is going up against Julia, someone else who's not in the game. Could very much be one of the DLCs next year. Julia um, is. She was actually born in London. Julia, ironically. But, uh, and that's what this feud has all been about. It's about uh, them saying, come to your roots. And Julia said, no, my roots are where I grew up in. My roots are where I laid them. And I laid them roots in Japan. Julia was made by E X hashtag 90426. Massive thank you to you, man. Massive thank you to everyone who creates a superstar. Julia looking like a superstar. The current... NXT 2.0 Women's Champion. It is Julia coming in with the purple tips, ready to rock. I don't think she's been in NXT yet. She's been shown at one of the takeovers. I believe the takeover around WrestleMania, pretty much confirming that she will be in NXT at some point or potentially even main roster. I have to see what they do with Julia, but certainly one of the hottest free agents at the Wars and WWE will have paid. The money to get Julia, and we have paid the money to get Julia, and she has absolutely been worth it, passing that title back and forth. Currently at the top of our brand, and she looks like a superstar with the fair, with the glasses, ready to rock, with the gold round her waist. 
And here we go, Isle of Dawn now. Gonna attack us, showing us the belt that these two women are fighting for. Isla Dawn stood in the middle. This is a special guest referee match. Soraya from Norwich, England. Gets a big cheer from the crowd. Her opponent was originally from London, England, and Justin Roberts, or whoever it is, is uh, announcing her as from London, England. But Julia put her roots down in Japan. She is fighting with the Japanese wrestlers. Isla Dawn raising the belt now. Who is going to win here, Soraya or Julia? It's a main event title match we've been waiting for. Soraya saying, come on then, let's go. Soraya in her outcast outfit. Big kick straight away from Julia there. Shades of a Shining Wizard there. And maybe this will not be enough to help Soraya win, having Isla Dawn on. You get the hook behind the back and then a drop on the other arm. That's really going to hurt her arm as she drives her head now into the mat. Isla Dawn looking on and can't interfere. Calling that a rope break from the start. It did look like Soraya was under it, but is that enough to get under Julia's skin early on? Being sent into the corner now. A big kick from, a big punch from Julia. Smashing her head into the turnbuckle there. And now multiple hits on Soraya. She is looking stunned. She has not been having, she's not been able to answer anything in this match. Julia looking at going for an alley pin. Isla Dawn getting into position. One, two. Oh, I don't know. That was a bit of a slow count there on the second one for sure. Julia going up to the top, not letting it bother her, showing the high flying skill. Goes for the elbow drop, but misses. Finds nothing but air, and now Soraya able to come back into the match and controlling the match. Headlock takedown into the surfboard. Julia managing to escape and going with some punches again. Up. What's she looking at? Locking her in for? Wow, beautiful suplex. Really packaging her up there. On her body before tossing her over the top of her. Soraya wouldn't know where she is when something like that hits. Soraya able to fight out. It's that experience, the in-ring veterancy of Soraya, formerly known as Paige in WWE. Backbreaker to Julia. Now attacking the head of Julia, saying, This is my house. Looking at controlling her, sends her across to the turnbuckle and throws her into the turnbuckle, then across the ring. What's Soraya thinking here? She thinks she's got it. She thinks she's done enough to get the pin here and it's not enough. Julia says, eh, eh, not yet. I am not done yet. And now Soraya laying in the punches, close fist punches onto the head of Julia there. And suddenly Soraya looking in a lot better place than she was earlier on in this match. The two are meeting up again. And here we see it. This could be the turning point. A big boot there from Julia. Soraya running into it full force before her head hits the mat. Oh, but Soraya has decided to get up quickly. He uses her energy. Was it wise? It seems like it could have been. Again, getting her in that submission, really working in the midsection of Julia and the back of their arms. Multiple clotheslines. Soraya keeps getting up, finishes with a drop kick. And now uh, a rope break call again from Isla Dawn. That one, unlike the start of the match, didn't look like it was a rope break. Julia bringing her into the center of the ring now so that there's no question of a rope break. But unfortunately, Soraya was already getting up. It was too late for Julia. That could have been what cost her the match there, that call of a rope break. In between the legs now, looking for a pedigree. No, up. Wow. A pile driver underhooked. That's going to hurt the vertebrae of Soraya. Catching her, spinning around and going with the back breaker there. Trying to lift her up, but Julia able to kick out. Now locking up. Big headbutts there from Soraya. Three headbutts to Julia. I think that might be enough. Quick counts there from Isla Dawn. Isla Dawn looking at trying to help Soraya win for sure at this point. A leg drag from Julia. Knee strike. No misses. Soraya fighting it off. 
Up over. Neck breaker. Now locking up again. Soraya with a kick. What was she looking for? Was she looking for the DDT? Seemed like she was, but Julia able to fight her way out. Goes to send Soraya into the rope. Aladon had to quickly move out of the way there. Kesadora. Oh, what's she looking at? Hitting her. Oh, she's looking for a submission in the center of the ring. Oh, it looks to me like Soraya might be saying, I submit. But Isla Dawn won't listen to it if she is. She did check the submission, though, apparently that time. Julia now going up to the top rope. What's she looking at here? Big double foot stomp onto Soraya. Here we go. Going again. One, two. And that was it. Julia getting the win with the odd snacks against her. Isla Dawn not happy about having to make that call, but wanting to call it square down the ring. And it seems like Julia and Soraya may have some things to... Oh, she doesn't look happy. She doesn't look happy. Isla Dawn is not happy about making the, the fact that she won. Not happy at all. Julia with a title... Over her head. Isle of Dawn. Looking on. Will she be the next feud? Who knows? Who knows? Julia felt it was unfair. It was a legendary match. It was a five-star match. Great, man. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. Great to see a five-star main event. Well, we didn't we didn't put too much into that. I mean, a special guest referee, I suppose. But yeah, cool. Continue. Great. Excellent. Woohoo! Can we get a full five-star mania by the end of the season? That's kind of where, where I want to be. Let's simulate the rest of that show. Cool. And let's uh, let's see how they did. I mean, you know, we want either Manami or... Uh, what's she called? Aja Kong. Uh, we're the only one with a five-star match. There we go. There's our card. Oh, let's have a look at uh, Europe versus Japanese winners. One to Europe. One to Japan. Two to Europe. One to Japan. Three, so it was 3-2 to Japan, this this episode. Cool. Uh, Manami Toyota and Aja Kong, the rivalry is complete. That's great. A uh, really good match, actually. Uh, Emi Sakura main event in as well. Wow. Wow. Just taunting us, man. Taunting us with all the talent they've got. 131,000 is what we made. How did they do? 156,000 raw. Smashing it, man. Smashing it. Not good for us. 97,000 for SmackDown, but that's not good, man. Raw absolutely blew that away. Very impressed. Very impressed with Raw right there. And Raw is still in the lead. NXT 2.0, look at the trading. So who do we want? Who do we want? I think we know who we want. We want either Manami or we want Aja Kong. Do we have the money for it? Nope, absolutely not. Do we have any giants? We've got Piper Niven. Uh... Do we have any cruisers in the UK division? Or the Europe division, excuse me. We've got cruisers there in the Jumping Bomb Angels. No, less cruisers in that. So so that put, leans me more towards Manami. Toyota, out of these. Uh, Julia's also... Uh, sorry, Mitsuki is the champion. A cruiserweight again. Um, not great, not great, not great. What are you, level 13? So not far away from getting another boost there. Okay, let's have a look at SmackDown. Let's see what SmackDown's got. So, Emi Sakura, 95 popularity. Costs an absolute arm and a leg. But that is huge popularity. To be honest, 95 popularity versus 79 popularity or 79 popularity for the same price. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. She's level 22. Oh, mate, and Kairi. Uh, I feel like uh, Ameu Uitani. Oh, mate, they've got all the wrestlers. How many weeks? Are you, is there anyone who's got a certain amount of time on the contract that we can wait wait out? And not, not just are they there. They're also, like, the highest rated on their shows. Like, have you noticed that? It's almost like they know what they're doing. Uh, no, no one's on a on a temporary contract there. Damn. Okay. Okay. 
So ideally, I mean, he's got a lot of money already. I kind of want Emmy. Let's go 280, see if we can just get Emmy outright. Uh, ruins the tag team for that. Propose a trade. Can we have Emmy Sakura? No, not yet. I didn't know you were a comedian. That's a terrible deal. Ouch. Uh, I mean, do we go to three? What do you reckon? Just go to three? I mean, he did say it was a terrible deal. I don't know if I can go higher than three, though. And he says no again. Wow. No, sorry, that trade doesn't meet my needs. No problems. No problems. Not going to bother trading with you again, I'm afraid. Uh, Manama Toyota or Aji Kong is what we're looking at now. Um, let's have a go for Manami, I think. I mean, a lot cheaper, the same popularity. A lot less on there, but that's fine. Oh, it's just a lot cheaper. Uh, let's go. Let's go 100. And, let's go 200. Let's just go 200. There you go. How about that? You want some money? Everybody's got a price, Ted DiBiase. Trade declined. Uh, he didn't seem too pissed off, though. Like, that meter hasn't gone up too much. Maybe we just go with the extra 10,000. Yes, there we go. We made a deal. Nice. We've got Manami Tayata. So that is going to be in the next episode. Do make sure you are subscribed to watch that with us. Good trade, Foley. But don't think that means I'm going easy on you. These episodes come out every week on Thursdays and on a Sunday. So do make sure you subscribe if you want to see more. Let's end the trading there. See what silly trades they offer us. Uh, yep, we're declining. Um, jazz, no good to us. Cool, trade declined. Uh, Smackdown going to offer us a trade. What are they going to do? CM Punk? No, no, thank you. No, thank you. You can keep your CM Punk. There we go. And what is happening here? We have got four weeks until Fastlane. Interesting news. We have indicated that NXT 2.0 audience would love to see some battles between Sapphire Reed and Julia. Something to think about. For the next five weeks, any solo contest between these two will receive a popularity boost. I'm sure both women would love to fight each other, but that is your decision. Wow. Julia. And, uh, and Sapphire. Wow. Interesting. Uh, end that conversation. What's up? It's good to finally get to talk to you. Uh, I got your number from your assistant. I hope you don't mind. The Spanish wrestler, Jody Garcia. Uh, nah, we don't We don't know where she's from. Uh, we can't. Sorry, you made a big mistake. But that's okay. Whoa, it's Suki. I can't stand teaming with Tateno. She's the reason why we keep losing our tag matches. And I can't drill it into her thick son. Let me prove who the problem is on the team. Give me a singles match tonight. I'll show her how it's done. Um, can't do that. I can't do that, Asuki. I'm sorry. It's really going to be like that. I guess it isn't... Tata, Tatina isn't the only one with a thick skull around here. Ouch. Let's have a look at what we've got. Selected superstar. All superstars who share the role of the selected superstars will gain five ring XP. Okay, so that's a good way of... Gaining five five ring XP doesn't feel like a lot though. Matches with only specialists have boosted quality. Put all participants, but all participants lose extra stamina. Not good. All these specialist superstars get plus three mic skills. Huh. I mean, we don't have that many specialists, do we? Do we? These are all a bit naff, aren't they? Selected superstar. All superstars who share the role of the selected superstar gain five ring XP. Sure. So. Uh, sort by roll, I guess. Uh, we have oh, so we're either doing faces or heels. Um, by the way, we didn't turn them heel yet, so I'm guessing it's going to be faces. Oh no, look at the amount of heels we've got. We've got more heels, so we've got nine faces right now. Seven of which are Japanese wrestlers. Cool. Uh, and uh, but we are going here. Yuka Zakazaki needs to turn face as well. She's so busy, Yuka Zakazaki. We can do that in the next episode. And so does Asuka. Okay, cool. Let's go. Uh, let's turn all of these. Let's give all these an extra 5 XP boost. Not bad. Did best we could there. 
out of what I feel was a difficult situation. So can I moan about money again in the next episode, please? <laughs> We're doing all right. We've got 185,000 in the bank. We are doing well. And uh, thank you so much for all your support. Do leave a comment if you are enjoying it. And if you're new to the channel, say hello. I'm sure someone will say hello back. Come and join me on Wednesdays for AEW Dynamite live streams. And uh, until next time, I'll see you on the flip side. Delete! This is Broken Mad Hardy. Thank you for watching the Give Me A Whole Year Wrestling Podcast.